Hey everybody, this is Jay with Jay Hags RC. Um, today I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, maybe a which one is better for you, between the Tamiya um, um, CW01, the lunchbox chassis, or the Wild Willy, the WR02 chassis. Uh, I'm going to go off five little sets of criteria. Uh, it's going to be handling, durability, scale, the nostalgia and then the price uh, I've already reviewed both of these and I like both of them a lot um, the handling between the two of these is I'm using the term very loosely um, the lunchbox is more stable it has a longer wheelbase and a slightly lower center of gravity the Wild Willy does actually handle better. <clears throat> However, it has a shorter wheelbase and a higher center of gravity. So it's really kind of a wash between them. I mean, a little better handling, but more stable. So that's really kind of a coin flip. Um, the durability between the two of them. Obviously, you're not going to take something like this to the skate park and just destroy the schnockers out of it. <clears throat> you're going to be, you know, they're pretty low speed for the most part. Uh, I have not really had any durability issues between the two of them. The only durability issue that I've had with my lunchbox with a hopped up motor is a mailbox jumped out in front of me. You know, those things move a lot. And I actually broke one of the wheels inside the hub. I've got some CA glue on there. It'll probably work, you know, for a little bit. And if it doesn't, I'll get a set of wheels for it. No biggie. The scale between these two, I mean, they are both Tamiya. Tamiya is definitely known for scale. I mean, as beautiful as the Launchbox van is with the hard plastic body, the injection molding, the chrome grill and all that, I really have to say that the scale points would go to Wild Willy. I mean, look at this. There's just so many little cool touches on this. It is a complete pain in the butt to finish and to make it look right and to paint the driver figure, but it is so incredibly worth it. So as much as I like the looks of the lunchbox, I think as for true kind of scale looks, I think Willy is... 10 out of 10, with the lunchbox being a 9.5 out of 10. The nostalgia between the two of them, you know, if you're kind of old school and like Nintendo, you know, like myself, the old original NES, this is a repop, but the lunchbox, this is as is when it came out back in 87. I mean, they have completely, they've repopped the kits, whereas the Wild Willy, the body the driver figure and all that is from the same original wild willy kit that they had in um like 83 84 i believe it was but the chassis and the drivetrain is a modernized chassis it's the wro2 chassis so i'm gonna have to give the nostalgia points to the lunchbox because it's a little more you know pure if you will uh the price point between the two of them uh, I believe last check, the lunchbox was about 125 and the Willy was about 150 So, you know, that's really a pretty comparable price. I mean, 25 bucks isn't going to necessarily make the break, make or break the bank, you know, I don't believe. Um, the Willy is a little more expensive. So I might give, you know, another little maybe half point to the lunchbox. The, um, the Willy, though, does come with the electronic speed control. I know a uh, tower's website says that it still comes with a three-step mechanical speed control it does not it does come with an ESE so there's my five criteria now which one is better I have done extensive extensive research and testing and more research and more driving and really you know I pick up one controller drive one pick up my other controller, drive the other one just back to back to back to back. And I would say the one that I would recommend is 
both. However, if you do got to pick one, I would say the biggest factor would really depend on the terrain that you're driving. If it's going to be more like a park surface, kind of baseball diamond, you know, more groomed surface, I would say the Willie's probably a little bit better uh, because it does handle just a touch better, if you will. But it's it definitely shines if it, it nah, you know where to it shines more on smooth surfaces. It will do wheelies, you know, for just about as long as you want to carry. But part of that is the high center of gravity. If it's more of like a backyard kind of run that you're doing, um, you know, a little more hilly, something, you know, mole trails and all that kind of stuff. The lunchbox is going to be a better fit because it's a little bit longer and it does have the lower center of gravity. It does wheelie, um, but the nose comes up, rides a wheelie for a couple feet, and then comes right back down. So it is a wheelie machine, but it won't ride the wheelies like Willie does. Uh, so that's what I think. That's my two cents. Um, I'd say pick both of them up. They're Tamiya. You definitely can't go wrong. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you like.